Understanding ASC7 building exposure categories to determine structural performance in wind load. Welcome to Building Knowledge 101. In this video, we examine the exposure categories defined by the American Society of Civil Engineers and Structural Engineering Institute in standard ASCE slash SEI7 to determine project-specific wind loads. So let's talk about building exposure. That's one of the variables that we fit into ASCE 7. So building exposure looks at how much protection a site has from direct wind. Exposure B is more of an urban area or suburban setting with many closely spaced obstructions that are gonna stop wind from hitting directly onto your project. So you'll have a lot of things like single and multifamily homes, small office buildings, retail construction, and that provides some protection from direct wind. Exposure C, this is an area that's more open, more open than exposure B. This fairly open area with scattered obstructions having a height of less than 30 feet. So you can see this area, smaller areas, still providing some protection, but not as much as that urban area would we look at in exposure B. Then moving on to exposure D, this would be an area with a flat surface that is open and provides no obstructions from blocking the wind. This would be adjacent to large bodies of water, uh, open mud flats, salt flats, unbroken ice sur frozen surfaces, or here like you see right on the coast with the wind blowing directly in for off the ocean with no protection of the wind hitting the facility. So you've got those three different exposure levels. And so those are all going into ASCE 7. That is all we have time for in this video. If you'd like to watch more of our 101 video series, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Conair Company, Inc.